We get them Christian metal bangers up for Brandon Schultz coming in with some more Mortal Sin. And we're doing the song Into the Fire today. Uh, we learned about this band. We've done Mortal Sin on here before because we do the Christian metal, we do the Satanic metal, we do all the kinds of metal. We don't let anyone not be have their voice and there's a lot of good Christian metal out there. And I love the journey that we're taking because we've done pretty much every damn band, but you're always finding more. Uh, so we're going to check this out. Mortal Sin. We learn about them, then we listen to the song Into the Fire. That's from the Mayhemic Destruction record. You ready for that? Let's do it now then. Mortal Sin. They got 16,300 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top 5 jams. Voyage of the Disturbed. 447,000 plays. I am immortal. We've done that. 671,000 plays, I believe. Women in leather. We know we've done that. 240,000 plays. Lebanon, we've done 273,000 plays on that. And in, this, in the fifth slot, The Curse, 118,000 plays. All of those tunes, I do believe, except for I am, am Immortal, come from the record we're doing here today, Mahemic Destruction. Let's look into those albums ever so quickly. This would be the, the one here. This one would be Mahemic Destruction, 1986, then 1987, Face of Despair, which we've done stuff from. Uh, you have uh, 1997, uh, Revolution of the Mind, and Absence of Faith, Into the Inferno, Live in Oslo, and Psychology of Death from 2011. So that is the albums for this band. We look into the related artists. You say, take you down a rabbit hole. If you're new and you're, you're like, man, I love that Mortal Sin. What's some other bands that sound like them? I'm going to shit some out to you right now. And they're damn good and tasty. Atrophy. After freaking 30 years, Atrophy's back. They put out a new single. And I want to listen to it really, really, really bad. But I'm not going to listen to it because we got to do it on the first listens. But Atrophy's back. Evil Dead. Hollow's Eve, of course. Living Death. Nasty Savage. Laws Rocket. Iron Angels. Sacrifice. Blood Feast. Viking. Toxic. Agent Steel. We've done damn near every one of those bands. Let's look into the bio ever so quickly on this band. There is no image. I will hunt down an image. That'd be cool. There'd be dudes. that would be saying, dude, we're dead. We're, look at us. We're freaking Mortal Sin, dude. And I'm going to say, well, I agree with that. Mortal Sin were one of the first Australian thrash metal bands to achieve widespread recognition outside the land down under. Inspired by the gener gen genre's earliest champions, especially Metallica and Anthrax. Vocalist Matt Maurer, guitarist Paul Caruana, and Steve Kristen, bassist Andy Efficigio. F I feel like we've had a problem with that before. And drummer Wayne Campbell caused quite a stir with their ex excellent 1987 debut, Mayhemic Destruction, considered a minor thrash classic in its time. The album even had Mighty Kerrang! magazine touting them as the next big thing. Um, guys, I want to say that they're Christian metal, but it's not. they're not really spouting it off a whole whole bunch, are they? And clearly, if they are um, Christian metal, they've, they've broken into the mainstream with those uh, related artists there. They're just some good old-fashioned thrashy shit. Uh, we listen to that song right here, right now. Brandon Schultz, today it is your time. It is your time to shine here, sir. It is your time. This has got women in leather on it. Lebanon, too. Um, where it is? Into the fire. This is the titty pie. I give you a taste, I take a taste. It's how it helps me line up the tune, then we listen to it together. And we enjoy it together. Let's do it. Into the fire. When I hear those three words, I think, docking, but it's not going to be that. Uh, just rich and raw, recorded on tape, put some chorus on the drum mics. It sounds like you're going into a fire, doesn't it? The fire's for hell, maybe. This ain't no cutting, no tape. This ain't scooting beats over. Fixing timing. This is raw. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Bring the bell. Bass is sitting right on top of everything, isn't it? When you jump into that fire, things can happen. I could hear this song in an early 80s horror movie. Some guy's van, you know? Body burns? To the heat. Yo, 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 yo. I appreciate that they kept the tempo the same. I didn't want them to go nuts there. Feel the heat? A lot of AC again to this too. They have a suffer sucker on a dime, are they? Yeah, it's got a nice calm circle pit vibe to it, you know, just a able to scoop people up and pick them up if they fall. To driver. This is a minor thrash classic. Bands that would go on to do things was listening to this, you know, listen to these guys. They're gonna go big ending on this, or they're gonna stop it out of time. Up in the air. I'm leaning to big ending. They did a big ending. Stop it out of dime, it's a 10 every time. Mahemic destruction. You know, there's just a love affair that I have with that sound because it is a bunch of dudes that they put microphones in front of the amplifiers and said, Anna one, Anna two, go for it, you're rolling. And I love that, I, I love that. And then it's like, you know, those the early records, it was a hell of a time to, to kind of cut and paste, you know? It's like, we need good, clean takes of you doing this drum performance, sir. Mr. Lars Ulrich. We need that from you because that we're gonna have to cut and clip to, to make the timing better if you don't do it right the first time. Now, but what say you? Most important part of my videos is where you get in the comments below and tell me all your thoughts, your feelings, your memories, your opinions about Mortal Sin and the music that they put out and how it has affected you in your life. Please do that now. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, I'm a huge fan of Mortal Sin. Just like Brandon Schultz, I'm a huge fan of Mortal Sin. I'll tell you everything I know about them because I live down the street from them. They're great guys. Uh, they get a little loud sometimes over there, I'm not going to lie. 
uh, but uh, I like them. I like them pretty good. All-time favorite albums, all-time favorite songs, videos to check out. I'd love to see some live performance stuff or some video stuff for these guys. Does anyone have a link to that on YouTube? Don't put the links in there because they'll just block your comments right away. But you can say, hey, Shane, here's the title of it or whatever. Okay. Or you can say, not good, not great. Shane, it was just not my cup of tea. I give these guys all the credit in the world for back in, 19, what, 1986, rocking out and doing this. It's just not my kind of style. I mean, I like the big journey rock. And I don't like the, the like the, the the smaller bands out there. I like the big arena rockers. That's who I'm into. So don't want it, don't need it, never going to listen to it again. All of that can be put in the comments below, don't you know? If you got a request, you know what to do. Hit the links, put it in the comments, all right? Brandon, there's your thumbs, my friend. We're getting out. We're swinging out. Mortal sin.